All right, so this last chapter that we're gonna do is all about probability. Okay, so we're gonna take it a little bit further than what you know of probability. So most of you hopefully can answer these two questions that are on the screen. What is the probability that I roll a six on a number die? Okay, so guys, if you think back, we want what our desired outcome over our total. Okay, so how many sixes are there on a number die? Well, there's only one. And then how many total sides are there? Six. Okay. So I go talk about deck of cards because not everybody plays with decks of cards. Okay, there are 52 cards in a deck. There are four suits. Okay, those are hearts diamonds, spades, and clubs. There are 13 of each suit. Okay, and they go ace to king. So ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then jack, queen, and king. Okay, so just kind of decide that. So what is the probability I pick a red six out of a deck of cards? Okay, so these are red suits. These are black suits. Okay, so I have two different red suits. Okay, so that means I have two different red sixes. So two out of, and then what's my total number of cards? 52. Okay. So what we're going to talk about is just taking probability just a little bit further. Okay. So we're going to talk about permutations. So one way to think about this is how many different ways can I take five students and give them the jobs or the titles president, vice president, and treasurer? Okay, so what I want you to think about is if I'm picking the president first, okay, how many students could be picked for president? Five. Five could be picked for president. Okay, so I pick one for president. They can't be anything else. So how many choices do I have for vice president? I have four. So then I pick my vice president, take them out of the pool. And then treasurer, I have three students left. So we're going to take five times four times three, which is 60. So there are 60 different ways that I can take these five students and give them the titles president, vice president, and treasurer. Okay, so for the next one, we got 10 people in a race. Okay, we have a first place, second place, and a third place medal. Okay, so how many people can finish in first place? 10. So first place finisher finishes. How many people can finish second? Nine. And then third would be eight. So take 10 times 9 times 8, which is 720. Okay, so there are 720 different ways that people can finish first, second, and third. Okay, another way to use permutations is how many different ways can I pick an outfit with five shirts, two pairs of shoes, and seven pairs of pants? Okay, well, think about it this way. How many options do I have for shirts? Well, I have five options for shirts. How many options do I have for shoes? Two. And then for pants. So you're going to take five times two times seven, which is 70 different ways that I could pick an outfit from those options. Okay. So then the last slide that I'm going to show you just takes and shows it to you in something that you might be able to find on your calculator. Okay. So this exclamation point is called a factorial okay and you also should have this button on your calculator somewhere okay so basically i'm going to use that um people in first place sorry the 10 racers so if i have 10 and we're going to permutate three of them so we have three spots first second and third you can actually type that into your calculator and you will get the same answer that we got when we just wrote it out Okay, you will also get the same answer if you do this. So that's 10 factorial over 
10 minus 3 factorial. Okay, so 10 factorial is actually 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's what factorial means. So then 10 minus 3 is 7. So 7 factorial is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Well, guys, if you notice, these all cancel out, don't they? And we're left with exactly how we found our answer. Okay, so that's what your calculator is calculating when it does factorials and permutations.